In this video, we're going to use our AI Auto tool to adjust the tone and color for a group of different images. So I'm starting in the Browse module inside Photo Raw 2020, and I'm going to select this photo here. And to head inside of the Edit module really quickly, I'm just going to hit D on my keyboard. So now I'm inside of the Develop tab within the Edit module. And I'm going to head over to the right side of my screen here. And to quickly auto-develop the settings on this shot, I'm just going to click AI Auto. And you can see it does an awesome job of adjusting the tone and color for me instantly. The great thing about the AI Auto tool is that you can copy and paste it onto different images, and it will automatically develop their tone and color settings as well. So I'm just going to copy these settings real quick. I'm going to head up into my Settings menu, and I can click Copy Settings. Or I can hold down Shift, Command, and C. And now I can pull up my film strip view mode by hitting F on my keyboard. And I'll navigate down to a different photo. And if I paste these settings onto this shot, it will pull up the Supply Settings menu. And once I apply this, and if we head over to our Tone and Color area, we can see it's using the AI Auto to develop these settings also. And another way that I could auto develop these images is I could head down here to my film strip view mode. I could make sure they're all selected. I'll click sync. I'll apply the AI auto. So now it's gone down and automatically developed the settings for all of these images based off of their own unique tone and color. Another great way to apply AI Auto to batches of images is to save AI Auto into a preset. So to save this AI Auto into a preset, I'm just going to click on this button here. And now in this Save Preset dialog, I can head into my Develop Settings, into my Color and Tone, and in my Tone Settings, and I'm just going to make sure that I have AI Auto selected. So I'm going to select None, and then I'll head up and just make sure I have Auto Tone selected. And then I'll save this preset as AI Auto. And I'll save it as a new category. Also, if you had any effects or local adjustments applied, you could actually go in and apply these into that preset as well. And it will still auto develop your photo. So I'm just going to head up, make sure I have Auto Tone selected. And then I'll save this preset. So now we can head back into our Browse module, and I'm just going to reset all of these photo settings. And now that these images are reset to their original look, I'm going to head up to my Presets panel. I'm going to go up to that new category, AI Auto, and I'll choose AI Auto to develop these images automatically. So now we have all of these images here, and they've all been auto-developed by AI Auto. And now that you have this AI Auto saved as a preset, you could actually apply it to images upon import. So that's how to use AI Auto to adjust the tone and color for a batch of images. 